Hey everyone, today we're going to be creating some awesome After Effects transitions. After Effects is not a video editing program in the same way that Premiere Pro is, yet you can create some cool transitions that you can then bring into Premiere Pro that are simply impossible to actually create in that program. These can be awesome for vlogs or other creative projects that call for some interesting and unique transitions, and this is also how transitions for Twitch streams are made, as you can export the transparency needed for those in After Effects. These transitions are a lot more than just a cross dissolve or a push transition. You would use After Effects when you want to add more content to the transition than what is present in your footage, like using a shape or a shape animation as the transition piece. We're going to go through a super basic transition that is a great starting point for doing more advanced ones. Right click, then click Add New, then click Shape Layer. Click on the Add button next to Contents and select Group. This will give us access to the controls we need to make this animation work properly. Click on Add again and add a rectangle, then add a fill layer to give it a color. To set the size of the rectangle, open up the Rectangle Path object, uncheck the chain symbol, and then size it up. We'll want it to cover the screen top to bottom and take up most of the horizontal width as well. Next, we're going to do a simple animation. Move a couple seconds into your timeline and using the transform properties under the group, move the shape off screen to the right. Click on the keyframe button. We we'll want to use easy ease on this so that the animation is smooth. You can do this by right clicking on the keyframe and selecting easy ease, but the shortcut is shift plus F9. Now we can make our starting keyframe. When we use easy ease on a keyframe, any new keyframes that occur before it will have the effect automatically applied, which is why we start with the end of the animation. Move the playhead to the start of the timeline and move the shape off screen to the left. Now when you play it back, you should have a smooth animation of the shape going left to right across the screen. Now let's open the graph editor by clicking on the graph editor button. This will let us change the curve of the animation. Play around with this to get the exact animation that you want. For example, if we drag the first node up and to the left, we will get a really fast start to the animation with a slow ending. So that's a basic shape transition with just one shape, but most transitions of this type feature multiple shapes working in tandem. Select your first group and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Change the color to something different than your first group. You can now press the U key on your keyboard to show only the position properties within this layer. So press that and we'll see both position properties for both layers. Click on the upper one, which should be your new one. This will select both keyframes for that shape. Then you can just offset them from the first shape so that they happen shortly after the other layer. Now we have a cool two-shape transition, and it looks dynamic and interesting since the animations for both are not linear. Now let's add a third shape using the exact same process. Make sure to change the color. The new shapes should be on top, so just make sure the animations for the top ones happen after the original ones, and this animation will look great. To save this as a preset animation to use later, select the three groups, click on Animation, then click on Save Preset. You can leave it in this default folder or create a new folder to better sort your animations. Name this animation and save it. Now open an empty composition and create a new shape layer. Then under Effects and Presets, go into Animation Presets, User Presets, and select your newly made transition. Now you can verify that it works properly, and you can make changes to the transition and save it as a new animation just by editing this preset and resaving it. For example, you can rotate it to change the direction that the transition moves. To use this transition elsewhere, like in Premiere Pro, we'll need to export this on an alpha channel. Go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. In your render queue, click on the output module where it says Lossless. We need to export it in a format that supports transparency, so click on QuickTime for the format, as this is a common format that supports it. Then under Channels, select RGB plus Alpha. This will render both color and transparency. Now you can drag this finished file into a Premiere Pro project and you won't need to make any changes. The transparency will just work automatically. This transparency tip is great for anything, whether it be titles, transitions, lower thirds, or anything like that. Now if you're a streamer, you can add this transition to OBS super easily. Open OBS, click on the drop-down under Scene Transitions, click on Add a New Stinger, then select your new file. You'll need to set the transition point in milliseconds, which is where the scenes switch. This should be when the transition is fully covering the screen. 
If you're using Streamlabs OBS, click on the cogwheel on your scenes list, add a transition, select Stinger from the list, then select your file and set the transition point. Animated transitions in After Effects are a lot different than in Premiere Pro, but it gives you a ton of flexibility. This simple tutorial should give you a basis for using shapes and transitions. The key to creating animation presets in this program is utilizing transparency. What happens within the transition is up to how complex you want your graphics to be, and how much talent you have in creating them. Start simple with rectangles and other shapes, then move to more interesting and multi-parted animations. Let us know if you'd like to see an advanced guide here on the FilterGrade channel. And if you want to skip the creation process and work off of an existing template, you can check out our YouTube channel and website to see and download a ton of great After Effects templates. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit FilterGrade.com today.